Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now, if you're receiving this error message, what you're seeing in front of you when you're booting up your computer, I'm gonna show you how you can resolve it and fix it today. It's a known issue uh, with Windows 10, but it does happen with other versions of Windows, uh, especially Lenovo's and stuff like that. So if you are getting this particular type of error, I will show you how you can resolve it. Now, Lenovo have got their own recovery tool, which you can download, and I will leave the link for that in the video description. And you can use whatever recovery tool or Windows CD that you've got to hand, okay? Now, if you don't have one, you can always get the one from uh, Microsoft's website. Now, this is Microsoft's website. You can download uh, the creation tool here. Just download this, click on download, and then you can save it to your desktop or you can run it whatever way you want to go about it just push run click yes this will then open up uh, the creation tool here what we're going to do is let this uh, do its thing here and we'll come back when that's done there we go so all we need to do now is click accept Okay, so now you can see it's saying upgrade this PC. Now we don't want to do that. We want to create an installation media for our USB flash drive, DVD, or we can download an ISO file depending on what we want to do. Okay, but you are going to need another computer to do this because your main computer is not going to be booting because you've got that error message. So click next and it says um, use this PC recommended. We're just going to take that out. And uh, you can choose which one you want here. You can choose both or 32 bit, 64 bit. Mostly they are for 64 uh, bit nowadays. And we're just going to go ahead and go next here. So, USB flash drive, click next. It says it can't find the USB flash drive. Let me just refresh. So, I'm just going to click on this here and remove this tick you can leave this on if it's the same identical computer but I'm just gonna go next here and we're gonna choose USB flash drive I've already got mine plugged into the computer and you can see here it says it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes in size go next and you can see it's been listed here if it's not showing up here then you can try the refresh uh, drive list and it should start to detect it and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go next and this will then create our Windows USB flash drive we can then boot to this and I'll show you what to do once this is finished okay so here you go we've booted up to our USB flash drive and you can see now we got our installation part here go next and we're not going to click on install here we want to go to repair your computer and from here what you want to do is go to troubleshoot click on troubleshoot and from here what you're looking for is command prompt now you can try other things from here like startup repair and stuff like that and system restore uh, but you may have trouble trying to get it to work with those uh, so if they don't work for you you can try what I would do in this sequence I would try startup repair and also system restore if you have system restore points you can try to restore back to that but you may find these don't work and the only way to fix it is the way I'm going to show you right now so go into command prompt so the first command we need to type out is boot rec space forward slash MBR and this is going to fix our master boot record then we can type out boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then push enter then we can type out bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd backup this is going to back up our master boot record also we need to type attrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h dash r dash s now we need to type ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old and then push enter now we can type out bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd and that should now fix and resolve your error code now all you need to do is type wifey yes and push enter and then you can type exit to come out a command prompt or you can just close it down 
and that's pretty much it you should have resolved and fixed your problem now don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification button to keep up to date when we upload new videos also that should have resolved your error and fixed it we need to do now is reboot your computer and you should be good to go now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>